Well, people, it has happened again. My immune system has been compromised. I've caught a terrible virus, which is referred to as a man cold. Just gonna talk through the congestion here. So 2022 is probably one of the most monumental years for my family. But every year that's passed since moving out here has just felt like such a milestone because our lives have been changing so drastically. It was also kind of a wild year for me personally because I turned 16, started thinking more about my future, learned to drive, started posting again. So New Year's resolutions, I suck at keeping them. And I never have one resolution, I always have about 10. But when it comes to the goals I have for 2023, it's gonna be different. And I've got some ideas, a lot of ideas. We've had horses for a while now, but before the day they were ever dropped off on our property, I had never ridden or been around horses ever. My mom worked with horses as a teenager and she's just great with them. And, and she's always telling us that, you know, you're the rider, you're in control, but they have a mind of their own and it kind of scares me. I feel like they could just do whatever they wanted at any time. This summer, my mom tried really hard to get us comfortable around the horses and teach us, but I kind of let fear get the best of me. And at this point, I have zero control, zero confidence, and zero knowledge of what I'm doing when it comes to the horses. So, uh, yeah. Also, I'm not crying. It's just really cold out here. <laughs> But in 2023, I don't want to let fear get the best of me anymore. I want to work with them more, learn about them as animals, learn about the tack, get more comfortable riding. And by this time next year, I'm going to be a full-on cowgirl, like barrel racing and lassoing stuff and whatnot. <laughs> So one thing I am familiar with is music. I was singing since I could speak, playing instruments and performing since six, and by age 12 I was doing national anthems and gigs, and I even got to go sing on the local news. So in whatever form, music was always a big part of my childhood, and at this point music is just part of who I am. It's something that I'm always gonna do. But the past couple of years, I haven't done as much with it as I used to and most of the time I have devoted to playing music and practicing music I put towards piano because piano is by far my favorite instrument. I can just play piano for hours on end and recently I've gotten really into classical. But I want to make sure that I'm also focusing on guitar and ukulele and singing and maybe maybe bring another instrument into the mix or start writing songs, which is always something I've tried to do and really wanted to do, but had a really hard time with. So either way, making music is not something I'm willing to just let fizzle out, you know? So my goal for this year is to get back into it completely, keep working on it, expanding on what I know, and keep the part of me that loves making music alive. where my piano is and I'll play for a couple of hours. This piano was a hand-me-down from a hand-me-down. Definitely has some years put on it. When you hit certain notes, the entire inside of the piano buzzes. I don't know what is vibrating in there, but something is off. Uh, the pedals are kind of broken. A couple of the keys stick a little bit. I was really thinking of upgrading and buying myself a new piano, but there is only one spot in the house that a piano would fit is right in this corner, which is a designated Christmas tree corner. We need something here though. When the tree is gone, it's gonna look like a bachelor pad. Okay, but if we put a piano there, what do you do come Christmas time? That's the Christmas tree spot. You'd have to put the Christmas tree over here, which is not ideal in any, and if you talk to dad, he's like, oh, it'll stick out to here. <laughs> if I had a keyboard, we could move a keyboard. But I thought you don't want a keyboard. Keyboards aren't my favorite, but if we kept my broken piano in the tiny home, maybe it would work. I could go between the two. So the piano versus keyboard, you know, where to put it in the house has been an ongoing debate. Again, never been much of a keyboard person, but I've also never played on a really nice keyboard with like weighted keys and all of that. So we'll see, we'll figure it out. <laughs>
Now this next goal is something a little bigger, something really important to me and I'm really excited to work on. This year, I wanna start an online business. So I'm currently in the beginning steps of you know planning this and trying to set it up, but this is something I am very excited to do, a little nervous. And very few of you probably know this actually. My mom and I had an online business previously that went on for quite a few years. I'm in my junior year of high school, so I think this is gonna be a really good project for me and a great learning opportunity because this time around, I will be older and I'm able to navigate most of it on my own. When me and my mom had our business, when it first started, I was nine years old, so I was really young. So yeah, it's, it's a work in progress, but it's gonna be a lot of fun and I am super excited. felt like uh, sitting in the car would be appropriate to talk about this next one. It's very cold in here. This, it, this was not necessary. Now I'm sure all of you have already guessed this next goal because you all know I am very determined to accomplish this. Getting my driver's license. All there is left for me to do to get my driver's license is take and pass my skill test, which is the driving aspect of my testing. I've already taken the written and it went really well. Nevaeh's done. You pass? I pass. <laughs> It took me uh, eight minutes. Good job, Nia. Good job. <laughs> but I was super nervous, and I'm really nervous for this too. This next part is a, uh, it's scary. I can actually schedule the driving test now because I do have my certificate from Drivers Ed, my replacement. Um, I may have lost the first one. I contacted my Drivers Ed instructor, and he never did actually call or text me back. So I had to find someone else who worked in the driver's ed program and have her send me another one. But I have it and uh, schedule the test now. There's <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing standing in the way. I am really excited though. I am. Uh, getting my license will open up a ton of opportunity for me. But before I can schedule that test or even think about tackling that, I need to make it my goal to become more confident in my driving abilities, which means I'm going to go out and practice a ton. Me and my dad are probably going to do some freeway driving, probably devote an entire day to just parking. The parking stall goes this way. I go in this way. And if a parking stall goes this way, I'm probably gonna go too far and hit the curb. I am gonna work on it though. <laughs> I'm gonna get it eventually. We've had some super extreme weather conditions and it's just made the roadways not safe for me to drive on. It's been super icy. We've had crazy negative temperatures, just weather unlike anything I've ever been in before. So I do not feel confident driving in that. But as soon as the conditions of the roadway are safer, I'm gonna go take every opportunity I can. So if we're going to the grocery store, like I've got it, I'm gonna drive because I need the practice. I want to be really confident going into that skill test so that come this year I can have my license. <laughs> so gross. I was fine like yesterday. I never get sick. I get sick like once or twice a year. Perk of being homeschooled. You never catch colds. But because of that, I also have zero immune system. So if I'm around anybody who has a cold, I am gonna catch it. So my last resolution of this year is to hit 100,000 subscribers. My journey on YouTube has been kind of off and on and all over the place. When I first started posting, it was just cover songs and me singing and doing performances. I never started posting any vlogs until we moved out here. And even then it was just kind of a hobby thing. I didn't take it too seriously. But the more I think about what I wanna do and what I want my life to look like, making videos, it just, bits, you know? And I love that it's something my whole family does together. And I love being able to bring you guys along with me, especially during this time of my life where, you know, I'm trying things for the first time and I'm doing things like getting my driver's license and a lot of things are new to me. And so many of you guys reach out and you're offering me support and giving me a ton of advice and it's just amazing. So a hundred thousand, that's gonna be a challenge. But I am so excited for this year and so thankful for all the blessings that 2022 brought and I guess we'll see where it goes. <laughs>